So before I begin the video, if you're looking for a, a downgrading video on how to downgrade a PS3 from scratch because you've never done it before, then this is not the video for you. There is a video in my playlists on my channel that will show you how to downgrade a PS3 from start to finish. This is only for people who or have already downgraded a PS3 or a downgrading a PS3 that is a 356 minimum version console. The problem with these 356 minimum version consoles is that you can't downgrade them to 355. So often what will happen is, is people are normally taking them to the equivalent version that's out. So for example at the time of this video 4.76 is the latest update. So what people are doing is they're, they're patching it, flashing it and then putting 4.76 custom firmware on. Which is all good but if you want to go down a couple of versions or maybe a few versions more you know maybe you want to go to rebug 446 to go onto decks or whatever it is that you want to do then this is an ideal solution so for obviously first you're going to want to um, take a dump of the ps3 you're going to want to patch it with either regero uh, patcher v5 or dump statistic 446 patch which is regero as well and then flash it back to the ps3 and then the ps3 when you turn it on will boot into safe mode it will say uh, the, the system can't start it will boot into safe mode or if you patch it to the equivalent ROS's then it will boot to XMB so whether you booted it back up to XMB or whether you just patched it like me and it just goes to safe mode what you want to do is you want to download my 999 to 440 downgrader which is going to take you from uh, whatever version firmware you're on at the moment so for example this one's 476 and it's going to take you down to 440 so you want to put the update into the PS3 and then press start and select and it will start to check and it will find the update see this is this, as I said before this is ideal if you if you want to go down to say I don't know Rebug 446 or whatever it be I was, I was going to do it <clears throat> I was going to make the downgrader go down to 356 and then make a 356 custom firmware but I just decided that in reality for me the the lowest people are going to go is 446 because you're going to want to go to Rebug or whatever it be possibly Regero 450 you know it's, it's entirely up to you or even just Rebug 465 a lot of people like that Rebug um, so once it's found the update it's going to start to install and then when it finishes you're going to be on 440 but the syscon is going to be 999 which is part of the downgrader package I did patch the level 1 and the level 2 in a certain way so it will um, you won't have to worry about any risk of bricking it's removed any risk of bricking I've literally just stripped them down to their knees there's no checks or anything so I'm going to pause the video here and then I'll restart the video when it boots back up to the downgrader. Okay, so as you can see the PS3 is rebooted now after installing the 999 to 440 downgrader. So just go to system settings and then go to system information. As you can see it's 440. The the Cisco the uh this Cisco firmware has been um it's been changed to 999 that's part of like what the downgrader is but basically if you go to install packages you've got your standard USB location then you've got install toggle QA so if you just install toggle QA which I've put inside the firmware which is the one that I made for 440 and then just press X on toggle QA it will go black screen it will do its thing and then it will reboot and then when it reboots QA will have been toggled on and then you'll get your extra debug menu so when it restarts you want to come down to network settings and you want to press your button combination so I'll leave a link in the description for the button combination if you don't know it but really if you've been downgrading PS3 you should kind of know but either way I will leave, leave a link in the description <clears throat> so the way I normally do the next step is delete toggle QA because you're not going to need that again because it's been toggled on Go to debug settings, turn system update debug on, and then what you want to do is you want to get my 440 v1 custom firmware, 
which is just a bog standard basic CEX. You can't really do much on it, it's just a sort of stepping stone to get to the custom firm where you want to go to. I'll show you here, as you see, it'll, it'll pop up as 440, but because I'm doing it on a NAND PS3, on a Catch C model, it won't let you update to the equivalent custom firmware. So I'm going to update this from uh, recovery menu, but what if, if you're on like a normal NOR PS3 or a Catch G NAND, you can just go to install from, um, from USB, install it from USB there. As you can see, it'll install. So once that finishes installing and you reboot back onto the 440 custom firmware, you're able to go to any version custom firmware you want. And obviously QA has been toggled. So I'll leave a, a quick note in the description about what the button combination is that you have to press to, to get the debug menu up. Also, there's a text document in the download with the downgrader, which will explain the steps that I do with the PS3 in regards to flashing it and then installing the downgrader. So I hope that helped with the 356 minimum version consoles. If you've got any ideas or want to see any videos or need any help with anything just let me know.